Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by opening up this package here using our handy dandy tools, courtesy of iFixit. Yes, this is some type of screwdriver I am using. Don't judge me. Oh my goodness, okay. We almost got it. Oh. Alrighty, let's get that out of the way. And all right, so this is going to be the G8 by GameSir. Great packaging overall. Um, all effects sticks. So you plug and play USB Type C. We're going to see if that actually works with our adapter. One thing that is nice, they do have charging in a, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you don't see in controllers under $100. So this one being at 80 with a headphone jack is a good sign there. Uh, precision tune, hall effect, analog sticks, uh, responsive membrane button. So the, um, So yeah, this is pretty, looks like it's a solid controller. A lot of people that I've seen the review for this controller so far have been positive, which is a great find. So we're going to get this out and check out the controller and see how well it is. Oh, we have more stickers up here, two stickers up top. Let's go ahead and remove these two. Oh, see, I'm doing it wrong. There's like a little cutout right there showing that I can pull it. There we go. So overall, great design, great detail, uh, attention to detail in terms of opening the package. I'm just gonna pop that up. Okay. And let's see what comes inside of the box here. Oh, looks like it's going to be open like this. And here we are. Hopefully this is coming up on the camera here. Let's go ahead and just get that centered. So, ugh. Inside of the little packaging, probably like stickers and stuff, manual stickers, all the um, classic things that you get from Game CERN and the full manual on how to set this up. So go ahead and Take that out and those little cushions for the joysticks. Pop this up. Oh, this is um this is a heavy controller. But I like the feel. Ooh, ooh. The buttons have the right amount of push, the right amount of travel, and them sticks feel good. I ooh, ooh. I like this. And just like uh, GameSir with the X2, the, um, what's it called? The USB type C is actually flexible. So you don't have to worry about, you know, damaging your actual, um, the actual USB port when taking your phone in and out, you have that flexibility to just kind of do it however you want. I will say this one is a little bit looser than the X2. This is probably something on, on purpose maybe, um, but yeah, overall this controller feels nice. I like the look, it reminds me of old school uh, N64, well not N64, uh, Super SNES um, and the NES controllers back in the 90s. 
Another thing that's cool about this controller is that the they just like with the X2, you had um, these little cushions that you can just pop on there to change up the style. This time around, they actually have a full on kind of cap with the stick part uh, that you just kind of place in there. And I believe these are uh, magnetically secured on there. So that is cool that they have. They have different styles that you can choose from. And we've got a tiny one. We've got, this looks like more of like the, the GameCube style. Um, the way that are the Dreamcast. I can't remember what design this was, but this design is very, very familiar to me. And then we have the traditional style that I'll probably be using. Now the sad part is, is there another? It looks like there's only a set of one. So it might be only one, one controller that you can switch to. It might be this one as the main one that you can actually take off. But we'll get all into all that uh, when we take a look at the, the full controller and playing games and take it apart and put the little sticks on there and all that. But overall, not not a bad controller on first initial impressions and not have it has a nice textured grip uh with some pro programmable buttons on the back instead of the top so you kind of feel that right here as i'm holding it you can kind of do it with your ring finger or your middle finger so and it's got that style that allows you to just kind of slide your phone in here and also from the reviews a lot of people are saying if you have a thin case well, guess what? You can use the case with this. Now, if you have something like OtterBox, probably will not work. But um, the fact that, you know, they are enabling you to use a case with this, depending on the type of case size. I know there's a lot of thicker cases, might be a lot harder, but um, that's always going to be a benefit. So you don't have to do that extra step of taking out your case just to use the controller every time, which can be very annoying especially if you are a mobile gamer so let's go ahead and try and test to see if the adapter that i have works with this controller Alrighty, so after doing some tweaking we actually found out what is connected by a magnet magnet and it's going to be this faceplate here so there's a seam right around here if you can see that that you just want to kind of dig your finger into if you have some type of prying tool, this thing comes off really easily because that is what's connected by magnets. And then from there, you can just, you know, remove the stick, replace it with the additional uh, stick that is that is provided. You can do this on both sides. Once again, I'm not sure why they only provide one set of different sticks, but that is how you get that done. And it just secures back on magnetically. All right, I'm back. Um, so I got it to work, but uh, before I show you the modified version of how I got this to actually work, let me preference by saying that I do not suggest you do this. Okay, so this is what I've done. Now you can see there's a lot of cables. This is a monstrosity of... Uh, cables and it does work you can see i'm running around here this is disney dreamlight valley um yeah Oof. so my initial plan was to take this usb c to uh lightning adapter and just kind of plug it in right in here right and it would just work and it would still look, you know, kind of odd and the weight and the balance would be off slightly, but it would look a lot better than what I ended up with. Unfortunately, if I can line this up perfectly, this is another issue is that, well, you're going to have problems ensuring that you don't break uh, any of your stuff. This is why I don't suggest it. But as you can see here, this kind of pops up saying uh, i don't know if i can get that on the screen but basically it's saying that the game sir g8 accessory requires too much power now this is a notification uh error message whatever that you would get if i were to plug in a external ssd drive 
uh in this in this form and to solve that you would have to get something like this from amazon uh which would allow you to you know plug this in your iphone use a usb uh 3.0 connection here and then you would need to charge it uh as well to actually use the ssd for it to pop up in your uh, icloud drive so <clears throat> I don't actually need to charge this while using the phone. Now, if I want to actually just charge my phone, I can plug a charger in here and it'll work. But thankfully, I don't have to be connected to some wall the whole time. But uh, <laughs> I'll show you how the combination works. This is a USB-C to regular USB 3.0 port. I just plug that in like so. And then I would take this uh, adapter that I just showed and just plug it into the through the uh, USB type C port, uh, flip it the right way. And then from there, you would think that I'd be able to just, and I could just play like this, you know, and just have it like that. So I might just move it down here. Uh, but this cable is not long enough and um, also, I found that when stretching it, oops, when stretching it and coming back to kind of fit the phone itself, you would uh, run into issues in regards to clamping that wire, which is something you don't really want to do. So luckily, I had this little this little thing kind of hanging around the house and I decided to, hey, you know what? What if we just go this into here? This is just a simple uh, female USB cable, same kind of deal. Plug this into the USB type C port and then use this part of the cable to plug in here. Uh, this is like a splitter. Uh, this black cable here is like some type of splitter. I think I was trying to do something with audio and I needed to split the connection. I forget why I bought this a long time ago, but I had it and it worked. And then from there, you kind of just find your little spot at the bottom and there you go i'm having so much fun so yeah that is pretty much um how you, you get that set up uh guys if you know any type of device in this at this size that would actually work let me know in the comment section below because i would love to actually use something a lot smaller more convenient uh, when playing on this controller, I do plan on keeping this controller mainly because at some point I'm going to have to upgrade to a USB type C iPhone. And there's a lot of controllers coming out uh, recently where it's going to be USB type C connection. It, it, it makes sense as a business to just to go one route. Um, that way you're not spending a lot of money on on two different controllers also because of the uh, abomination that was created by me i don't feel like giving this a review overall is the correct way to go as i can't properly use the device as it was intended to be used uh, but i will say this ugh, the feel of this controller is amazing if you are coming from a console especially an Xbox console. This feels exactly like an Xbox controller. It has a lot of the same designs, um, surprisingly like the Xbox with the texture back, uh, for your grips and even in the, the texture and the triggers, uh, and in the, there's a slight texture in the bumper in the back. A lot of that stuff, uh, is actually on the Xbox controller, which is, you can tell it took inspiration from that directly but it it works really well in terms of how it how, you, how it feels it i can actually grip this this is a this is a controller this is basically a full-size controller um just you know that you can split apart uh so yeah, yeah it, it is great i think that depending on your use case if you uh if you do a lot of traveling and you want something a little bit more smaller that you can put in your bag you know you might want to go with something like a backbone easy smx but if you are used to playing games on your pc using an xbox controller if you're just used to that controller feel the size of a controller i would suggest getting this to kind of start off your mobile journey 
So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you soon.